Well, welcome to class, everyone, and it's so nice to see you all. We are going to begin with a little warm up, moving our body around. And we are very fortunate to have William, Mr. William Douglas, playing for us. So, William, take it away. Ready for the warm up? Yeah. Okay, well, here we go. What? music. Yeah. Is everything okay so far? Okay, great banjo. Oh, good. All right. I didn't quite hear right, that first right, chord, right, so okay. we have to, we, this has to be, this has to flow. Okay, okay ready? Yeah. Okay.
Thank you, William. Again, that was lovely. All right, so. We'll just do a little step work, a little bit of Padaba and skip change of step. And the Padaba uh, is our setting step. And it begins from first position. And on the balls of our feet, we spring onto the right foot, change weight, finishing with a jeté, and then springing onto the left foot, change weight with a jeté. So it's spring, change weight, spring, change weight, spring, change weight, down, up, down, down, up, down. The skip change of step begins with a hop. The skip change is our traveling step. It is light and lively and has a feeling of flight. So we are going to begin again from first position and then all the balls of our feet. And beginning with a hop, it's hop, step, close, step, and hop, step, close, step. So doing that again, it's hop, hop on the left foot, hop, step, close, step, hop, step, close, step. Now, the transition from uh, setting to traveling involves pointing the jeté in the direction of travel. So we set on the right. Mirroring the class is really confusing. I just have to think about this for a minute. So set on the right, set on the left. And now I'm pointing my jeté. I want to go that way. And then hop, step, close, step, hop, step, close, step. So doing that again, it's set on the right, set on the left, hop, step, close, step, hop, step, close, step. So it's that. Pointing the jeté in direction of travel and that hop that propels you into uh, the traveling from the setting. So what I would like us to do is set for two bars, travel for two bars, set for two bars, travel for two, set for two, travel for two. And William will play 16 bars of music for us. We'll listen for four bars and I'll count you in and then we'll dance for 12 bars. So, ready. Ready and. Ready and. Set. Did I demo that setting and traveling first? I don't remember. Yes. Okay. Anyway, that was the live music portion of our evening. So thank you, William, for that. And uh, we are going to move on to our first dance. And I will preface that by saying, once upon a time, I was a textile designer, and I think of dances as patterns. So I selected some dances for this evening that have very, very distinct patterns in them. And our first dance is Trip to Bavaria, and it has an hourglass pattern. And Trip to Bavaria is a dance for four couples and all four couples are dancing all together on their own track at the same time, but we're focusing on the first couple's track. And so 
Um, okay, so I'm down, I'm going to be down here. This is me, like if you see the dance floor going back, this is the pattern that we go, we go across, then in and back across and up and across again and back in and down and then back to where we started. That's, that's the hourglass formation. It takes 16 bars to dance that. Each little segment is two bars. I'm going to walk that right now and show you how that looks. So uh, I'm just walking this way and down, crossing down, back, crossing, back up, crossing diagonally, and then back to my original place. So William, would you like to join me now? And we will walk this counting out the bars and the handing. And the handing is right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So we uh, cross, giving right hands, two bars, changing left on the side, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a um, uh, halfway right hands across, or right hands across halfway. We're doing this with the fourth couple, but everyone else is invisible, so just they're there. Okay, so we're, and we're going to finish diagonally opposite to where we are right now. So I'm going to finish there. Where are you going to finish? Okay, good. All right, so four, five, six, change left on the side, seven, eight. We're halfway through the pattern, nine, 10, left on the side, 11, 12. Again, right hands across halfway, 13, 14, and then left on the side, 15, 16, finishing where we started, facing down. And this is the important thing to remember that we finish that whole track and face down on bar 16. So let's dance that. Um, I just have to get the music. Uh, Okay, trip to Bavaria. Let's see where we are. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, calling the shoelace pattern and well it starts like this I think we can figure it out that we start at the top and this is also 16 bars our couples are first couple second couple third couple fourth couple uh, the pattern or the track of our dance is Starting at the top, we zigzag down. So zig and zag and back down. And then we cross back to our own side with the same side that we started on. So the last four bars are crossing back to our own sides. So that's visualizing the pattern of the second half of Trip to Bavaria. William, would you like to join me again? Okay. So we are going to walk this and we begin from our facing down position. We are going to, we're, we're going to set to the second couple. And then, so we set to the second couple, one, two, and cross down, three, four. 
we set to the third couple. Set, one, two, and cross down again. Three, four. Actually, that was five, that was five, six, seven, eight. Then we set to the third, wait, fourth couple. Yeah, we set to the fourth couple. Nine, ten, and cross down again. As the fourth couple dances up. Uh, Eleven, twelve. And then, let's just move up a little bit. Okay. And then we dance in a step, so it's, and turn by the right halfway, and then retire, retire. And so now we are all on our back on our same sides. All of the other couples are advancing and retiring. So advance for two, retire for two. But I like to say that the first couple, uh, <laughs> oh, the first couple advance for two and switcheroo. So let's do that one more time. We're going to advance for two and switcheroo. So advance for two, two and switcheroo. Three, two, four. I don't think I did that right. Let's do that again. <laughs> I've That's only right. practiced it a million times. Uh, advance, so advance for two, and then switch your room, retire. This it's okay. So let's, we're going to dance the second half of the dance. Uh, this is the shoelace figure. <laughs> dance it again. I hope everybody is uh, able to follow along. Uh, okay. All right. So one more time. Cross. something if you like. I have to find where I put my uh, cup of tea. I'll be right back. Sorry. I, I forgot to set that up. Okay.
So the next thing on the program is a formation. And this formation is diagonal right and left. This is an eight bar formation. We're going to be dancing it in stress bay time. And the track goes diagonally. Uh, it really depends where you are in the set, but it goes up and then down and then across again and down. It's doing that kind of track. Each leg of the track is two bars. So I am just going to walk that. This is a formation that begins from second place. And, and, the point, and we begin on our own sides and we end on our own sides. The point of this formation is to get all the other dancers back in their own places. Throughout the dance, they've managed to get themselves on opposite sides and opposite ends. They're all switched around and messed up. So we have to get them back in proper places. So we look to our right and change places with that person on our right. It's our first corner. So one, two, and then we change places on the side uh, with the left hand. And then looking to our left, and again, changing places with the right hand, it's three, wait, five, six, and then seven and eight, changing on the side, with a polite turn, seven and eight. So, um, William, I meant to have you walk that with me. So let's do that. Yeah, we'll walk that together. Okay. So, yes, Just going right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so one. Two, three, four, that's left on the side, then diagonally looking left with the right hand, five, six, and seven, and eight. Finishing with a polite turn. So, um, oh, let's see. So we will dance that eight bars. Let's dance that those eight bars of, of diagonal rights and lefts, which I am referring to as the bow tie figure. <laughs> Okay, um, I think we will walk the whole dance now. This dance is Kilkenny Castle, and it's a 32 bar stress bay for three couples. It begins with first and second couples setting one, two, and then crossing, giving right hands, three, four, we cast, five, six, meeting in the middle and then turning our third turning the third couple with a handy hand so we this is just a quick momentary grab till we turn hands with the third couple for the seven and eight and that puts us in the middle again in position to do a mirror reel of three on the side so uh this is another pattern I didn't draw it, but this is a figure eight that you can visualize. So let's walk that. It's one, two, three, four. And we want, when we come together, we take hands. Five, six, seven, eight. Now we Petronella one place to the right. One, two, and we set. We will set with the other, there's a meanwhile figure going on. So we're going to set with the other couples uh, 
up and down the set. We petronella again and set again on the side. Now, the last eight bars of the dance, the shoelace figure. No, no. the bow tie figure. I'm getting my uh, apparel all messed up. <laughs> okay, so it's one, two, left on the side, three, four, right, five, six, and then left with a polite turn. Okay, very nice. So I think that we will dance that and we'll dance it through twice. The Santa's Kilkenny Castle, a 32 bar stress bay uh, for three couples. And it begins with the first and second couples setting cross by the right, cast, meet in the middle, and turn of the third couple with a handy hand to finish in the middle, uh, flowing into a mirror reel on the side. Finishing in second place on opposite sides. Then you petronella set, petronella set, and bow tie. Kilkenny castle, so set, cross, cast, and turn. Let's see. <laughs> take another sip here. And wow, we're making pretty good time. So this last dance is who knows this one? It's Mari's Wedding. This is one of the classic, most popular and beloved dances in the Scottish country dance repertoire. And it's really fun because it has this cloverleaf figure, which is a series of half diagonal reels of four. And so we begin this is the track. Um, we loop around our first corner. As they're all dancing the reel, uh, we loop around first corner, 
second corner, third corner, and fourth corner. That whole track takes 16 bars. So each loop around or each half reel, half diagonal reel is four bars. So William, Ooh, would you join Ooh. me? And this formation begins from second place. So first couple will be back to back in the middle, facing our first corners. And so we walk around first corner. Let's go one, two, three, four. We're passing right shoulders. The dance is written to pass left shoulders, but it's most commonly danced passing right shoulders and more fun that way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and fourth corner, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we finish that pretty much where we started, facing our first corners. So let's, um, let's dance that much. We'll dance the 16 bars of the clover leaf, Mari's Wedding Reel. Uh, let me get this. They just, it's really fun because it just flows, 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 flows. So let's walk the whole dance. It is uh, a quick two bar turn with by the right, one, two, cast one place, three, four, turn by the left in four bars to finish facing your first corners. Five, six, seven, eight. Now the next 16 bars of the dance are our clover leaf reels. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Passing right, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're facing our first corners again. We give right shoulder to our first corner. I mean, left shoulder, thank you, William. Left shoulder to our first corner, dancing out the end uh, for reels of three across the set. It's lady up, man down. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, and we finish in second place on our own side, ready for the last eight bars, which is a circle. That's another pattern. Six hands round and back. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and close and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and close. And that's the dance. And I just want to mention that in doing the Mari's Wedding Reels, that it, it is important to at least arrange, pre-arrange with your partner whether you're going to pass right shoulder or left shoulder, because you never know. Uh, you don't want a collision mid-dance. Mid yeah. So I think we will dance this twice through. And this is Mari's wedding. It's a 40 bar reel for three couples. And it begins with the first couple mm -hmm. turning by the right once round, cast one place and turn by the left to face first corners. Dance the, dance the clover leaf, finishing 
at first uh, facing first corner for left shoulder reels of three across, finishing in second place on your own sides. The last eight bars circle to the left and back. So this is Mari's wedding. Turn, cast, turn, reels. fun to do that one. Let's just take another sip here. Uh, wow, who's dashing? See you, Elizabeth. I'm just reading the notes now. And this is great. I really don't know how people have time to type when they're dancing. I haven't figured it out. All right. We have one more feature to our program, maybe one and a half, which is a waltz. And if this is familiar to you, that's because Mary taught it a few weeks ago. And this is Fiona's waltz. Mary named it after her lovely daughter, Fiona. So. And I think it's such a pretty dance. I really, really love it. And I messed it up when it, in her class, and I'm glad that, that we're doing it now so that I can hopefully, Mary, get it straight. <laughs> okay, so. Um, so we begin with our partner, mirror hands joined, and we start with our outside foot and we take three steps and then turn around. So the first four bars are walk, 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 and then turn around. Uh, so these walking steps are like, I feel like they're like kicking sand on the beach. So let's walk for three steps, William. One, two, three, turn around. And we'll do that going back. One, two, three, and turn. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, and turn. And uh, this time, we're going to turn to face each other. So it's one, two, three, and face. And we join hands and crossing right foot, we balance to the left, so it's balance. Then we cross our left foot over to balance right, balance. And then balance, nose to nose, balance. <laughs> and then turn under partner's arm and eight bars of waltzing. So one, two, three, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ready to begin again uh, with the walk, 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 and turn, turning away from your partner. So whether you have it or not, I'm just going to put the music on and you can follow along and it's going to play through four times and yeah, yeah, but it's all good, however it comes out. <laughs> uh, I'll have to turn the volume down a little bit on this one. So let's see. Is that good? And that is 
everyone. Thank you for showing up. And hey, we made pretty good time on that too. Was it she going your phone? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's a